Evening guys, it's Mark here from the Tipping Times and I am so excited. As you probably well know, this year to date we have created lots of new stuff on the blog, we've made lots of innovation, we've brought you automated tips, quick starts, quick lists and all sorts of stuff that will make your betting better. So, this little video is what's coming next it's not live at the moment but it will be shortly and what that is is personal notifications yep that's right you don't have to rely on what i programmed the bot to do anymore you can get messages sent to yourself based on what you want to bet on at the prices you want or at the odds you want or at the probabilities you want it's endless. I'm just going to show you today on how to do that with a quick example, hopefully. So this is the screen we're already logged into Quick Stats, and we are going to create one of these automated notifications that you set up yourselves. Now, just a word of warning, do not apply this to a normal filter because you will just get spammed with message after message after message and it will be meaningless. You really need to drill these in for specific targets like we've done with the bot so far. So let's make one, yeah? So if you click on there and bring your different ranges up and your markets and your fixtures, etc., we are going to call this, what should we call it, um, test late second half goal. Okay. Remember, this is just an example. I'm just showing you what you can do. So what I'm going to do here is tell the bot to message me when there's a high chance of a goal after 75 minutes. Okay. Um, I'm going to change this 12 months to 6 months. Personal preference, you can put that to wherever you want. Home V away, leaving as is, leaving as is. In play time must be between zero and ninety. Well, no, we want it between, let's say, seventy-eight. So you're looking at the point five market rather than the goal line now. That's based on at least ten games. Minimum of five got games each side, all competitions. Not worried about the form for this because I'm just looking at a goal. Fixture score must be irrelevant. Conditions. Let's pop in here. Okay. Bit of a more complex filter. So these are conditions you can set. I've not I've not put these on the YouTube before, but what we're looking for is when the home or away expected goals is less than the predicted, if that makes sense. Both in the game and both in the second half for this type of filter. So we are on, let's just try and find him. So here's one, away expected goals is greater than the away goals scored first half so if we're expecting one goal from the away side in the second half and they've only and they haven't scored yet we want to know about that same will apply for the home side Debatable three options down here. 
red cards are a bit of to be honest they're a bit of contention because i've won so many bets when there's been a red card and so many bets when there hasn't been a red card personally i don't like them and they do absolutely 100 percent influence matches and how they're played so if you want to play it as per the pre-game sheet no red card for either team is what you've selected Okay, so happy with that one. Come on, solo. Can we close that? Right, so those are my conditions. Now, all percentages. I'm going to leave this because we're just looking at lake holes now. So after that time period, that we put in, which was 78. There's not going to be a huge percentage of goals scored after that. But you could put in something like 20% there, you'd probably get some returns. Let's do that. Not looking at odds here because you're going to get good odds late in the game. Now, filter by markets. Okay, so we need to pick these up. And then we go to, whoa, find markets. And second half goals. So, average away goals between 75 to 90. Average goals between 75 to 90. Didn't click. Home, 75 to 90. This one is different to the above. This is the percentage of games that I've seen an away goal between that time period of 75 to 90. So again, different. This one now is not the percentage of games, but this is the percentage of goals that the away team scores in that 75 to 90 period. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about this expected away goals because the above filters will cover it. We'll do the same for home. And we'll do the same for match. And okay, so we have picked up so far the filter we've given it a name. We have chosen the date range on the parameters of the picture. We've put in a few conditions there. We've put in some percentages around the market values. And we've picked up specific markets. Only show selected markets, yes. Yes, Rita, thanks for that. This, yes, this. And that's it. I'm not going to worry about the display options. This just really is how you want to see the um, the return displayed, whether you want it in cards or whether you want it in a list. And I'm not going to include the prices because this is more of an in-play market. That's normally best used for pre-games. Now, this little button here that's winking at you 
it's winking because we are in our test environment when this is live what you will have there will be yes Rita, that as well what you will have there will be the telegram symbol to start the chat and connect to your personalized bot pics so I want to save this filter up at the top and test late second half goals. So let's save it. You can do this for anything goals, cards, corners, doesn't matter. So it's been saved. Close that. Nothing returned, nothing on at the moment. So let's go open it up again. Scroll down. And here's the little magic button. So click on that. And you can see I'm going to be providing some swanky text there. I haven't done it yet. But it will be when this video is live. So Rita is on a mission. So then you just click this green button, you know, enable notifications. Been saved. And then you go back up. And you can see you will receive telegram notifications for this filter. If that wasn't already set up, you would have needed to click. One second. When you're setting up your first filter for notifications, you click the telegram link and you click start chat. And it'll start the process off, and then you can build your own filters, and you will get notifications coming out of your ears if you want to, but that is not responsible. So, when you use this, if you choose to use it, please drill down your filters so that you are getting specific notifications on specific markets with reasonable odds that always give you value win or lose doesn't matter as long as you're playing the value you know that long term you you will make money anyway i hope that's helpful that's it from me and um it today is the 30th of december i think and this will probably be with you on the weekend all right, cheers, guys. It's Mark signing out. Good night.